What's up you guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Really appreciate you hanging out and supporting me right here. Thank you. Uh, gonna break down this classic black key song. It's got a whole Travis picking acoustic part and then a you know rocking out part. I'm gonna teach it all to you. Uh, so let's zoom in and break it down. All right, so all the finger picking stuff is based on Travis picking and it starts on the A chord. And the, the idea of it is that underneath it, you're gonna hear the the continuous playing of the uh, kind of bass line, like the A string and the D string with your thumb, like. So it's really based on that. So you can see my thumb is going doom, dum, doom, dum, but then it looks like other stuff's going on. So what you're gonna do is you've got that going and sometimes another note is gonna play with one of those thumb notes like this. Other times it's going to play in between the thumb. See what I mean? So if you deconstruct it, it's not as hard, um, but there's some more intro lessons that I have on this kind of stuff that will help. Okay, A minor. So we're going to hit the open A, then we're going to pinch the D and B, and I'm using my thumb and middle finger. Sounds like this. One more time. So that thumb now, that means it has to go back to the A because it's always going to be going, right? So we've got, so open A again, then my index is going to hit the G. So watch. speed it up, it starts to sound like something. But, oh, but, 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 practice it slow. There's that thumb on the D, and then we're gonna, I'm using my middle finger to hit the high E. Then back to the open A, then, Index on the B, then that D, so. A, B, D, G. Last move. So we have to do a little trick here. It's gonna just hammer, it's gonna hit the open G string with the index finger and then hammer down to the second fret. And then I'm hitting the B string. You know, I'm still holding that A minor, but I go, oops, sorry. And that B string. So you put that together. Now, we're still in that doom, dong, doom, dong. Then we go. So we hit the open A, then it goes over to the D, but I'm gonna pinch it playing the same time, the high E this time. Like that. Put that all together. And now, Let's think of that as the next phrase, right? We did that. So it's 
kind of nice. It does the same pattern here a bit. So we do the open A, the D and high E pinch, then A, G, D, B. See that? A, G, D, B, A, G, D, B, A, G, D, B, A. And on the last one, you just index off like that. So that second phrase. Now the whole intro, here it is. have the intro. All right, so the next pattern I'm going to work on with you uh, stays pretty consistent for the rest of the acoustic part of the song. Let's take an A minor chord, and remember the thumb's going boom, bum, boom, bum, boom, bum. That's the Travis picking thing. So we're going to hit the open A, then we're going to pinch the D and B together. So then back to A, then index on G. So then thumb on D, then middle finger on B. So, pinch, A, G, D, B. With a G chord, starts with that, and then pinching the D and B, like that. And then that same pattern we did with the chord before, but the, the bass line's the E and D now. See that? E, G, D, B. But it starts with the E and then pinch on the D and B. Then, so back to A minor. G. D, same exact pattern, but now it's the, the thumb is the D and G. So we do D, then we pinch G and high E. Then D, B, G, E. Let's put them together. And there's a couple little things we have to fix to make it with the song, but this is the pattern. Now an A major chord, which is the pattern is the exact same as the A minor. So no different as the first one. Now it starts over on A minor, so that pattern's the same. And then G. And then now this time it goes right back to A major and, and this is the little turnaround. It starts the same, do, da, but now it repeats A, G, D, B, A, G, B, E. But the B and high E on an A major or A minor, they can be substituted in any order. But he goes, <clears throat> Starts with the pattern, uh, pinch, A, G, B, uh, A, G, D, B, A, G, D, E, string, cut. And then there's just one other part, but no new patterns. That's it for the patterns. So here's what we got to do though. From the A minor to the G, this the hand comes off on the last pick of the pattern of that first chord. So it's like, doesn't matter on G because it's an open B either way. And then on the D chord, same thing. It's it's just that, you know, if you're going. So on the transitions, the hand's coming off and that's what you're hearing him do.
So the next part, no new patterns, one new little trick. So this we can call this the chorus now. It's A minor to G. D. A. So that's what we need. We go A, second fret A, C chord pinch. Or, uh, yeah, no, it's just open, two, three with the ring, pinch, and it's that same pattern as the A minor chord. So watch. Here's the chorus part. A minor, G, D, A major, see that? C, pinch, do da, do da, D, do da, do da, do da, A major. Turnaround pattern, because he just can hold on that for a while. So here's that uh, chorus, what we'll call. So it repeats that little last part. I think I one time in that example I played maybe the wrong part in the arrangement. I can't remember, but if you're a fan of the song, you'll be able to hear that. D. I think I played G by accident. But C D is blind. Uh uh C D. Boom, we got an electric guitar. Now we're doing kind of the last dance with Mary Jane kind of rhythm and chords. It's very, very close. Uh, so A minor to G, D, but to A major. You know, just same chord, so. Same chords as the finger picking. A minor, G, D, A. A minor, G, back to A. The other part. think they're done together but little rock double stops right there never hurt anybody uh so you're grabbing fifth fret on the b and then bending the seventh fret up to that pitch you play them together goes up that minor pentatonic so it goes up to the eighth fret b tenth fret g bend you know, lots of fun right there for that. And that's it. You just can rock that out.
right, there it was. Thanks again. I really appreciate uh, you having some fun playing some guitar with me. Uh, you can leave requests in the comments below. I uh, appreciate you subscribing here, liking the videos, commenting, all that stuff. So thank you, and hope to see you in another lesson real soon. Take care.